meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum joining me now. And Doug, so much for spring. Uh, yeah. We saw it over the weekend, but now we have returned to winter. You know, after many of our snow systems this year, we've had milder weather afterwards that has quickly melted the snow. Not the case this time. Frigid, well not frigid, but more <laughs> midwinter temperatures uh, behind that system slowly falling through the day. Now the widespread system snow over by Thursday morning with some flurries, but then the lake effect snow squalls gets going in earnest. We haven't had a lot of lake effect mm -hmm. in the snow belts this year. This will be some of the heaviest lake effect of the year. And at times these bands will extend all the way into the GTA. And again, wind gusts will be 50 to 70 kilometers per hour. So it extends the blowing and drifting snow and whiteout conditions in the snow belts. And then as we go into late Friday and Friday night, those bands settle into more the traditional snow belts, but it stays cold. All right, could still pick up a few flurries Friday night and into Saturday. Oh, look at those temperatures, Doug. Yeah, it'd be frigid. quite a contrast to what we saw over the weekend. And then Saturday, clouds mixed with some limited sun. Again, that lake effect continues where they want it in ski country, cottage country, a mixture of sun and clouds. And then our coldest weather comes Saturday night. Minus 15 in Toronto and parts of cottage country will go below minus 20. Wow, okay, but then the sunshine returns. Is that going to make a difference? No, not really. No. Another cold day on <laughs> Sunday, but it'll be nice to look out and see the sun. But then temperatures quickly recovered and near seasonal on Monday, well above seasonal for Tuesday and some rain for the middle of next week. Thanks, Doug.